special Common Council meeting highlights new reality. Unemployment claims spike. Overnight vehicle fire leaves one dead. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Pfister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. A special Sheboygan Common Council meeting on Monday highlighted the responses being taken by city and county agencies to the coronavirus pandemic. Suspension of many services and downscaling of offices was a common theme, but so were the adjustments made to continue services while safer at home initiatives from Madison are being observed in order to slow the spread of COVID-19. Consistent with the new reality, many officers reporting to the, com to the council did so remotely. David Beeble from the Department of Public Works said that the Superior Avenue reconstruction project has been suspended for 90 days in order to preserve good access to St. Nicholas Hospital, as were the Geely Avenue and Badger Loft water mains projects. Beeble outlined a new program explaining that many of the sanitary wipes being used to clean surfaces are ending up down the toilet. That has also already resulted in one sewer backup requiring the intervention of the Public Works Department and Beeble urged people to flush only toilet paper and put the wipes in the trash instead. Derek Munch, Director of Transit and Parking, reported that the Shoreline Metro hopes to return to a full schedule soon, but reductions continue for now. Fares have been suspended in order to reduce virus exposure and provide financial relief. Capacity has also been reduced to 10 persons in the full-size buses and three on the smaller ones in order to maintain safe social distancing. Entry and exit of buses is now through the rear door unless ramps are required. Reports to the meeting were followed by questions from council members. Many more aspects of the new reality in Sheboygan were outlined and will be covered in the future stories. Thanks to a number of tips from citizens, Sheboygan police were able to arrest four teens involved in a pair of gas station burglaries recently. Sergeant Joel Kaczynski says a gas station was hit last Wednesday and another on Sunday, both times when they were closed. Sheboygan police put out a press release on Monday afternoon and thanks to tips from citizens who recognized the su suspects were social media Police were able to arrest a 16-year-old, which lead to the arrest of three more teens. They are all facing burglary charges, and most of the items that were stolen were recovered. The first burglary happened on Wednesday, and the second occurred on Sunday. Both times, the suspect entered the businesses through a door that wasn't properly locked. Police believe that the target of the burglaries was cigarettes and vaping equipment. One person is dead after a vehicle fire in Washara County. Sheriff's de deputies say just after 2.30 yesterday morning, they were called to a Highway K east of Elp Road in the town of Springwater. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene, and there is no further information on the victim being released at this time. Authorities still continue to investigate. With everyone cooped up inside with their pantries, it is a good time to practice some good eating habits. Professor Beth Olson from the UW Madison says, the time to find out what you can make is a good way to spend some time while waiting out the outbreak. Kind of nice sometimes to take a look at what is in your cupboard, Google those ingredients and pull up a new recipe and spend a little time preparing and cooking and sitting down and enjoying your meals. Olson reminds people to get a good variety of food when they can, but do not stress out too much about sticking to diets. Having something that we can 
perhaps control, can work on, can spend some time on, can enjoy, is really important right now. And one of those things might be cooking, either for yourselves or maybe with your kids. Governor Tony Evers says the state's unemployment insurance call center has been booming with new claims. Last week, there were 115,000 new claims filed, and the call center received 1.5 million calls, more than 6,000% over an average week's call volume. The call center has already increased phone capacity to allow 690 simultaneous calls and expanded staff capacity up to 92. Evers said DWD needs 80 additional staff, and he also wants to, the legislature to eliminate the one-week waiting period to receive benefits. And finally, a new analysis predicts that Wisconsin could make it through the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic without facing a shortage in hospital beds. But it is a projection that can change as new data becomes available. It also relies on social distancing ordered by Governor Tony Evers being maintained and adhered to. The University of Washington's Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation projection for every state showed as of Sunday that Wisconsin's peak resource use will come in 53 days on May 22nd. By Monday, the data had already changed, indicating that the state would peak in 26 days on April 26. That projection indicates social distancing measures could work as intended, flattening the curve of new COVID-19 infections if Wisconsin residents continue to stay in place and stay at home. The University of Washington projection has the U.S. reaching peak resources use in just 15 days on April 15th, with a shortage of more than 61,000 hospital beds, and New York State is expected to be hit harder peaking in nine days. And that is our report for today. Join me again next time for more local news and information on Community News Review. Stay safe and be well. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.